What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be focusing on Visual Studio 2022, at least before programs have updated to use it properly. What programs in particular? Well, in this video, I'll be touching on JetBrains, in particular, ReSharper tools, but other integrations with Visual Studio do count here as well. If we have a look at JetBrains toolbox over here, which I have installed, if I head across to configure for ReSharper tools, you'll see that it only includes up to VS 2019. And in order to get 2022, you need to download the early access preview in order to actually install it for VS 2022. As updating here, only updates it for VS 2019. So how exactly do we get around to doing this? Well, it's relatively simple. In the description down below, you'll find a link to jetbrains.com. Right over here, we have the ReSharper Tools Early Access Program. All you have to do is make sure that you understand it's only valid for 30 days until you need to re-download it, I would assume. And all products that integrate into Visual Studio support VS 2022 Preview. I would assume VS 2022, the official release now, etc, etc. ReSharper Tools installer will remove all previous installations of ReSharper and other JetBrains.net tools from Visual Studio. So with that in mind, I'll select Windows and download ReSharper Tools Early Access Program. Then simply wait for the download to complete. It's a full gigabyte, so this will take some time to complete. I'll then go ahead and open it once it's done downloading. And upon opening it up, this time you'll see VS 2022 is supported here. So you can choose multiple platforms if you're still going to use 2019, etc, etc. I for one will be uninstalling 2019 when I move everything across. So I'm fine with removing ReSharper from there from now. If you are going to still be using it, you should have this ticked as it did mention it was going to uninstall other versions on your computer. So simply go through the items that you have ticked. I won't be using Team City, nor will I be using Rider. So with all of this ticked, I'll accept the agreement. Next, and you'll see some information here on what it's removing. I'll click install and then simply wait for it to uninstall and install the new products. As you can see, it's going from 2021.2.1 all the way up to 2021.3. I would assume that 0.2, which it was going to update to, has just one more version to go until this is fully released for absolutely everyone in the normal program, not having to download this early access program. The only reason you'd really want to Google for this video is if you've already tried to look for JetBrains ReSharper that supports 2022 and you are unable to find any information on it other than the preview that supports VS 2022 preview. I'm of course using the full release. It's no longer in beta. So while this video will have a relatively short life, if you were looking for this, you'll find it in the description down below. Super simple. Of course, when this does come to full release and you'll no longer need the early access program, you'll find some information pointing you to that in the description down below, provided I remember to edit it. But anyways, that's really about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, be here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.